here at WBC together. We are a part of a global community with a shared understanding and approach to the joy of specialty coffee. But in many markets, our approach contrasts with local traditions and expectation of coffee flavors. For 500 years, since coffee came to the Arabian Peninsula, each home has served Arabic coffee. It's a very lightly roasted beans, boiling for about 15 minutes in low temperature with some spices such as cardamom and clove. And served with dates to add a complimentary sweetness. A cup of this Arabic coffee is at the core of our hospitality. It's how we welcome and show respect to our guests at home. And I share it with you now so you can better understand my customers and my experience. Please enjoy. As I become a part of the international specialty coffee community, I learned and I experienced the amazing flavors from different terroir, roasting, roasting, and brewing philosophies. I understood the amazing potential that my customers could experience. But I see the challenge in shifting expectation. But also, I see the opportunity to be a bridge between traditional and modern approaches. And for now, I'm preparing my espresso shots for my signature drink. To get an extraction of 22.5% and 9.5 TDS. So I'm using 20.5 grams in to pull out 49 grams out with water temperature. of 94.5. Designed to intensify the most unique flavors and sweetness within the shot in this exceptional lot. And I will be using the same parameters in all my courses for today. The coffee I will serve you today is for me a real exciting demonstration of flavor possible from modern approach to espresso. But I will start by serving you a milk drink, which allows me to give my guests a gentle introduction to the new world of coffee flavors. This coffee was growing on the slopes of Vulcan at Banamagesha State at elevation of 1,550 meters by Joseph Bardeski, in a very traditional way, with a low spacing of plants and very little intervention beyond pruning and weeding. It's a geisha variety, reflecting perhaps one of the oldest genetic in coffee farming, but growing and processed in a modern, Refined way, pioneered by 90 plus.
And here, I have a 50% of raised distillation milk. My aim was reducing the water to get a higher, sweeter milk. And a very higher protein and fat content to make my milk even more sweet and creamy body with velvety texture. And I will steam it to 55 degrees to make my milk even more sweet. With a ratio of one part of espresso to three parts of milk, we will get a flavor of chocolate ice cream, wafer biscuits, blackberry. Reminds me my Black Forest cake. Amazing tactile experience, creamy mouthfeel with buttery texture. Please enjoy. In Saudi, as in many newer markets, the milk drink represents a new style free from traditional expectation and allows a gateway to a new flavor for our guests. With this drink, I can begin help them to ask more questions about coffee and flavors. Please enjoy. So once again, chocolate ice cream, Weaver biscuits. Black cherry reminds me my black forest cake. With amazing tactile experience, creamy mouthfeel, and buttery texture. Please enjoy. Thank you. As a barista, my favorite moment is when my customer returns and asks the question of how does this happen with just coffee and milk? At this point, I can share a little more with espresso of how this coffee is something new and incredible. At harvest time, a focused and modern approach was taken to baking and process the cherries. First, they bake the cherries only at constant color with ripeness measured through bricks content. Then the cherries are sealed in a tank and inoculated with a specific isolated local yeast spaces, which allows a defined and controllable fermentation effect. Then the cherries are held in a low temperature for a total of 72 hours of cold fermentation. And this will save more clarity and complex acidity for our espresso. The cherries are then moved to a cooler, uncovered bed system for slowly break drying until reaching 10.5 moisture content to develop more stone fruits and higher aromatic. Roasting with my roasting team, we develop a specific roast profile to support this process. 10 minute roasting profile with extending the Miller stage to enhance the body and sweetness. With 11% development, to highlight the aromatic and stone fruit flavors. And that allows me to have a higher yield while it's maintaining the body and clean juicy finish. So please, write down your testing notes. Your espresso is medium to high sweetness, medium to high sparkling acidity, 
with medium to low bitterness. Light body, silky texture. Flavor of lavender, black plum, maraschino sherry, cacao nibs. Lingering, cacao nibs. Finish. So please, when I serve my espresso, stir it 10 times. Drink with three sips to enjoy the sweetness. The cup in front of you for your spoon. Please enjoy. 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 So the joy for me of this coffee with its amazing flavor is the combination between traditional and modern approaches. And for my signature drink, I want to combine our specialty approach with the traditional style that my customers most associated with. So reflecting the impact of the modern processing technique, I have replicated a carbonic maceration of 500 grams of red grapes in a sealed container filled with carbon dioxide for 36 hours of cold fermentation. The gas will start to permeate through grape skins to stimulate the fermentation. And this will enhance the flavor and aromatic. When I mix 12 grams of this with my two shots of espresso, this will give us a new flavor of nectarine. Reinforcing the sweetness, I have added an infusion of 175 grams of blackberry with 175 grams of simple syrup made with ratio one to three, simmer in low temperature for 40 minutes. When I mix, 24 grams with my two shots of espresso. This will create a sweetness very similar to the combination of Arabic coffee and dates you experienced early. Also will create a flavor of red plum and blackberry. To contribute the body, I have added an infusion of 250 grams of babaya with 100 grams of simple syrup made with ratio one to one. Simmer in low temperature for 25 minutes. When I add 12 grams, this will give us a creamy mouthfeel, finished with velvety texture and a new flavor of apricots. The most important ingredient is my two shots of espresso. And now I will add two ice cubes to cool down the temperature and open up the flavor in my signature drink. And I will blend it to give it more texture. So please, write down your testing notes. Your signature drink is creamy mouthfeel, finished with velvety texture. Flavor of nectarine, red plum, blackberry, apricot, and dark chocolate. Please drink with three sips between each sip at least 10 seconds to enjoy it. In this drink, I hope to represent the benefit of not forgetting traditions or neglecting the modern insects, but the quality of flavors and experience we can achieve if we bring them together. So please, enjoy. That's my time. <laughs>